Hey guys, my name is Ryan and this is Fish and Fowl TV and today we're going to talk about decoy spreads and my favorite decoy spreads to use. The one that I love the most and is the most versatile in pretty much all situations is going to be the V-shape or the U-shape. And what I've got drawn right here is you've got your duck line, which is your rectangle right there, and you've got the wind to your back. The reason the wind is to your back is because decoys are like, or ducks are like helicopters and they land into the wind. So always, you don't ever want to have the wind in your face in a hunt. But this U-shape right here, all you're doing is lining the decoys up in a U-shape right here. So if the wind is to your back, the wind's coming this way, the ducks are, should land right here. The, what you're doing is you're making a landing zone with the V-shape or the U-shape. You're just making a landing zone. And these two thicker dots that I have right here are going to be your spinning wing decoys, like your mojos or your lucky ducks or something like that. But always, 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 if you can, try to hunt with the wind to your back. The second one I want to go over is the double O. The double O is a pretty versatile, pretty versatile decoy spread. I mostly use this in a swamp type situation where, um, you know, flooded timber, any, anything like that. And all it is, is you've got wind to your back again, just like if you can't always, like I said, you just hunt with the wind to your back. You got your duck blind. And what you've got is you've got two O's in here. You've got this O and this O, and you just line them up. Usually it's two dozen decoys. I put a dozen over here, a dozen over here. I try to put one in the middle if I can, and I've got always two spinning wing decoys on the outside. So what you're doing is you're creating a landing zone for the ducks, pretty much right here or over here or over here, anywhere near the blind. You're creating landing zones for the ducks. And that's something that I like to do in a swamp or flooded timber where you've got a lot of trees around so you, it can give you multiple shots. All right, so the third one I'm going to go over is pods. Pods you can use in any decoy formation that you want. Pod, um, it's just groups of, groups of decoys. And what, what they're going to look like is I've got the U-shape and the V-shape drawn right here. Here's your U-shape and here's your V-shape. So what we've got, as I'll get it closer, is you've got just kind of little pods of decoys making your U up right there. And sometimes when the birds get finicky and they, they don't like the, the linear shape of the V or the U, that's what I'll go to. And don't ever be afraid to get out into the decoy spread and change them in the middle of the hunt. Sometimes it works great. But for the most part, I'll only run pods if the birds are being finicky and they're not, they're not decoying very well. This one right here, this is the X shape. The X is that the X shape. I only run this decoy spread when the wind is circling. If the wind is circling and you you're constantly having to move your decoys, um, the X is is a good way to go because it provides four landing zones from from you know north, east, south, and west. So basically, you've got wind coming in all directions, and if you've got your decoys set up in an X, like I said, it gives them four different landing zones to pick from. So that's a pretty versatile spread. Only, I only use that one if the wind is circling. When you are in a situation where you can't hunt with the wind to your back, but the wind is not circling around you, and you're having to hunt a crosswind, the best thing to do is to try to go to what I call a J shape. The J shape Basically, all I'm doing in the J shape is whatever direction the wind is coming, I am making a landing zone with a with with the hook of the J. So, and, and another thing I like to do, I don't like to put the decoys out too far on a J shape, just because it, you're you're already you know hunting across wind. So you, you try to give yourself as much advantage as you can, but. Basically, I, I line a few decoys up right here at the blind, maybe 10 yards away from the blind, and I'll hook out and probably go 20 yards. That's probably 10 yards right there and then go to 20 right there. And obviously, your two uh, thicker dots right there are going to be your two spinning wing decoys. I always try to put my spinning wing decoys in the landing zone. And if you have a butt feeder or a vibrating duck or anything like that, I would kind of kind of group that somewhere near the landing zone and right here is just a just a different way to do the J you don't have to put the uh, this side of the J at the at the duck line you can do it any way you want to 
this just shows you the, the other way to do it, the opposite way of the first way I showed you. And guys, that's pretty much all I got for tonight. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. I'll definitely answer it. Um, those, all those decoy formations that I just went over is, is what I use and it always, always, always works for me. But I hope you guys like, subscribe, and share. Please, please, please like, subscribe, and share. And please stay tuned for more outdoor action. Thank you.